Hi, it's Jansen. Welcome back to the BMO YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about scaling your tackle right down to fish for bass. So the Bristol Channel, it's no secret the tide is pretty ferocious here. A lot of the time you need to be using legs of around 6 or 7 ounces. But in some areas it's possible to fish really close in using just a couple of ounces of lead or even less. Today I'm going to show you how I make a bass rig and how I go about targeting these fish. So when it comes to bass fishing here, I like to keep things really simple, but I do like to keep it light. The great thing about fishing for bass, in my opinion, is the fact that they fight really hard. And on the right tackle, you can have a lot of fun. Certainly a whole lot more than just winding them in on a, a regular beach caster that's designed for casting up to eight ounces of lead. So here we go. Here's the light tackle that I'm going to be using. To start off with, I've got a, a VMO Estuary lead. Now we do these in two sizes, this is the larger of the two, I believe it's around two ounces, but you can see it's got these nice little grippers sort of built into it. It's kind of a cross between the classic watch lead and the drift lead that we also sell. So yeah, that's one of my favourites. That'll actually hold out in quite a bit of tide, you'll be surprised, even though it's just a, a couple of ounces in weight, it will grip on the bottom nicely. So to carry the lead on the trace that we're going to be making, Gemini Premium Pulley Swivel. You may have seen my recent video on pulley beads and I explained that you don't have to necessarily use these kind of components for their intended purpose. These are absolutely perfect for making a small running ledger. So that's what we're going to be doing today. A couple of swivels, Cedra rolling swivels I like for this, and a couple of black beads. So let's piece all this together and see what we come up with. So Amnesia, classic trace line. This has been around for donkeys. It's really good stuff. I still use it on most of my rigs. This is 30 pound breaking strain. So remember, we're not making a regular beach casting kind of rig here. We're only gonna be casting a couple of ounces of lead. So 30 pound should be perfect. So I'm gonna take about 15 inches or so and snip that off. And to one end, I'm gonna tie on one of the two swivels. Swivel on, knot puller, tease that knot down. With Amnesia, I never wet the knots on Amnesia. It knots down absolutely fine as it is, no need to wet it. So trim that tag end off and then we find one of our beads then our lead slider and the second bead and the second swivel. Pull that one down, like that. Trim that. And there you go, a really simple mini running ledger rig. Obviously the lead is going to attach onto the fast link. Perfect. So there we go, there's the body of the rig tied up. Like I say, just a couple of knots, only a few components. Nice, simple, easy kind of rig anyone can make. So it's not going to be clipped down. We're not going to be casting this rig very far. A lot of the bass we catch in the channel are probably only 30 to 50 yards out. So on the right tackle, you can cast this rig that distance, no problem at all. So that is the body of the rig. That's the lead we're going to be using. Let's take a look at the trace line itself. So here we have the dongle, the much talked about dongle. What you'll notice about this one straight away, there's no loop in the end and there's no clip. Okay, so the reason behind this, 
we're not clipping this rig down. It's only a short range casting rig. It doesn't need to be clipped down. But by putting this big knot in the end, what we can do is place our peeled crab alongside the dongle and bring this back up around the crab. And then when it comes to whipping the bait on, the knot is gonna stop the crab from coming off. It's gonna stop the dongle from pulling through the, the crab in effect. So that is our trace line. This is about three foot of 30 pound amnesia. And all I'm gonna do is tie this onto one of the swivels. Now the beauty of this kind of rig, other than the trace line and the dongle, you could actually make this up when you get to the mark. So obviously fewer components than most regular rigs because there's no bait clip on here. Your leads are lighter, everything is scaled down. So if you commit yourself to this style of fishing, you can carry much less tackle than you normally would. You've got lighter rods, lighter reels, everything is lighter. You're more manoeuvrable, you know, you can cover a lot more ground. So there we go. That is my nice, simple bass fishing rig for this time of year in the Bristol Channel. Between now and probably the end of May, there'll be good numbers of bass in shore to fish for. And this, in my opinion, is the perfect way to go about it. So whilst we're here, just a few general pointers on approach. As I've said, peeler crab for me has been my tried and tested bait for a long time. Ragworm is a close second. You certainly get the numbers of fish on ragworm. They're not always the largest of fish, but you've got to remember the bass are feeding predominantly on peeler crab, or certainly on crab anyway, whether they're peeling or not, but that's another subject. So your crab is on here. You're bringing this back up around your crab and you're whipping it on. So you're only gonna be casting this probably 20, 30 yards, absolute most about 50 yards. So it's not a clips down rig. These are the kind of distances you're gonna catch bass at though. Most of the time they're feeding in between the mud and the rocks. So if you can find a venue that, that's rough and it gives way to clean ground, you wanna be casting your bait somewhere around there. My preferred setup for this is a carp rod. I've been using carp rods for this style of fishing for a long time. Sometimes you can get it, get away with going even lighter, a spinning rod for example, but sometimes you can go even lighter. I've got friends who even go down to using feeder rods and if you hook a bass on a feeder rod, even a fish of three or four pound, it can give you a really good scrap. Bass are a fantastic fish to target on this light tackle. If you've yet to give it a go, get out there and try it. So that was a tackle talk on how I go about targeting bass here on the shores of the Bristol Channel. Remember, just because you see fishing off the shore, it doesn't mean you have to be using heavy kit. Just an ounce or two of weight sometimes is all you need. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you again.